Hey guys, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're doing really well wherever you are in the world with everything that we're navigating at the moment. Um, before we jump into your reading, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support and for watching my videos and liking and sharing and commenting. I so greatly appreciate it. Um, for those of you that haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you do so, that way you'll know when I um, post new videos, um, so that would be so amazing for me. Also, um, I teach tarot, guys, if you want to learn tarot with me, the first link down below is the link to the initiation, which is my immersive uh, learn tarot journey that you can sign up for at any time. So. Don't forget that that's there. You'll also find the, the links to all my social media and the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. Uh, I currently have places for readings and can deliver them fairly quickly. So if you would like to, to grab a reading, now is a really, really good time to do so. So I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get across to your reading now. Cancer, this is your weekly tarot reading for November 8th to the 14th. Let's see what's on the cards for you. I have here a nine card block, three cards for your recent past, three for your current or focused energy, and three for your near future outcome. Two oracle cards and an overarching tarot energy. So let's jump in. That first card out was Warrior Woman, Warrior Man. Have you answered your deepest calling? So my question to you is, Cancer, what is your your heart, your soul calling you to do right now. Now a calling can be so many different things. It can be a, a calling um, in working career to be of service to humanity in some way, to be a part of the great awakening. It can be a calling towards um, a person or towards life partnership, maybe towards parenthood. Um, it can be towards a, a location. So there's kind some kind of sense of you getting great clarity coming out of an illusion getting clear on what this calling is so that you can really claim that victory the second oracle card out was trust your path right so that it is then saying to to trust that calling trust that path and begin walking it if you knew you would be supported what would you do if you knew that there were no limitations what would you do and that is your that is your first call there and then you can start to work to actually overcome what those limitations would be so so you can start creating here whatever it is that your your heart your soul is guiding you to do now your overarching tarot energy cancer is the eight of swords so i can see that you are feeling um held back stuck or trapped in some way from the forward movement at the moment generally with the eight of swords the main thing that is holding you back cancer is is yourself your mind your thoughts your ego and it's a real uh, message for you to get out of your own way so for example you could have a calling like i really want to um i really want to you know start a new course of study to be a you know uh, an accountant or a lawyer or something like that then the the limitations come up i'm too old to do that i'm not intelligent enough don't have enough money that kind of thing and that that is the mental limitation that stops you from acting on that calling so this is about you know getting out of your own way coming out of the mind and feeling into it what does your heart want what does your intuition really tell you to do sometimes it can be guilt and shame and fear as well with the aid of swords Okay, let's jump into the block. In your recent past, I've got the Seven of Cups, the Moon, that's Pisces energy for me, the Empress, which link, uh, links to Taurus and Libra. So I love to see the Empress here. But I can see that you are coming out of a time of confusion. I'm hearing feeling lost as well, not even being able to find the path to go forward, let alone to trust it and start walking it. So I feel this is the week that you get some kind of major clarity. Oh, that's what it is. That makes sense. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. You might have been looking for what is that thing that I'm supposed to do with my life? What is my purpose? And I feel like you're getting clarity on that. I think in the past you have been, let's say, going down the, maybe the wrong roads, you know, maybe based on things like trying to make money, status, um, you know, if it comes down to, if this is relating for you about relationships, going with the person that's 
you know, could be the best provider, has the best looks, that kind of thing. You're awakening beyond those illusions and you're really realizing that what you truly want and what is going to satisfy you, satisfy you is, is closer than what you really knew. The moon here says, yeah, there has been genuine confusion here and, you know, there has been this sense of just not being able to find your way, not being able to find your path. But I feel that this is a sense of hidden, hidden blessing for you because without that learning, you know, you wouldn't be, you know, who you are today to, to walk this path when it reveals itself to you. So we've got the Empress and the Empress is this energy cancer of it is time to create, right? We finally had this insight as to, you know, what this thing is that you want to move towards. Now the time is ripe and ready to start making it happen. The Empress is the energy that is ready to birth into the physical, tangible reality what is on your heart is a general reading guys and it's going to be different for all of you what that thing is i'm just really reading the energetic pattern here so the empress is this real energy of take some action it's time to take a few steps or take a bold action put the first part of the plan and process but then also we're going to allow things to unfold and you know open ourselves to to receive and surrender, not just pushing all the time. That's the energy of the Empress. But whenever she appears in a reading cancer, I mean, she is an energy of um, divine blessing. She stands for abundance as well. So beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, in your current or focus energy, I've got the King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Temperance. So we've got Aquarian energy, Virgo energy, and Sagittarian energy. The King of Swords is about... The eagle eye perspective, finally seeing the big picture, how all those lessons that you've gone through in the past, you know, that frustration of not being able to find your way, of things not working out, maybe you've had several attempts to, to get on your way here, you're finally realizing why you had to go through that. And really, you've had this awakening to what you're actually moving towards now so that you can put that plan in action. The King of Swords is about getting clear on how you need to transform your life and then putting a strategic plan in place. Um, you might need to have some honest, direct, clear conversations and communications to put this in action as well with the King of Swords. Um, that's something that's coming through. But next to the Knight of Pentacles, this is about laying the foundation. What is the first thing that you need to do to move towards this calling? Do you need to put a savings plan in place and maybe stay where you are until you have enough funds to move forward? Do If, if you're wanting to meet a life partner, you know, are you being the person that you want to attract? What do you need to do? What is the first step? If you're wanting to relocate, what do you need to do in order to make that a reality? The Knight of Pentacles knows that, you know, you really need to put a plan in place. If you want the harvest, right, first of all, the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles is out there a year before, you know, so really working this land to take the seed. Then he or she's going to nurture those seeds, water them and invest in them, make sure they get enough sunlight before the harvest lands, right? So you are entering some kind of preparatory stage for where you want to get to. No, you're not going to get all the results this week, but you're going to put a plan in place. It's time to take practical, methodical steps to do that and towards that. And along the way, you're going to have to keep um, those voices in the head under control cancer that say, oh, this is going to take too long. You know, we should have started earlier. That's what we need to be mindful of because the Knight of Pentacles says, you know what, it is going to take time, guys. It's known as the slowest uh, moving night. So you're going to need to have some patience. You're going to need to take a series of steps to get to where you want to go. But I can see the beginnings of that success coming through quite quickly, right? You will start to see the small results. Temperance here, um, it's a Sagittarian energy. It is a card for me of divine guidance. I feel like you need to move forward slowly and surely and incrementally as you are guided. There could be some, some healing from the past, but I'm feeling more of a, you're going to start feeling more balanced. As soon as you put that plan in place and you kind of know that you're moving towards that goal, you're going to start to feel more peaceful. You're going to start to feel more balanced mentally, emotionally and physically. You know, you're really going to start feeling on your game. And because of that grounding, you know, that's when that path starts to unfold and that sun energy 
rises to eclipse this moon energy, to eclipse the confusion, the lack of clarity that you had in the past. Now you're moving into the sense of full illumination, of rebirth, of uh, obstacles overcome, and a greater sense of positivity as well. Now in your outcome, you've got the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups, that's Pisces energy for me, and the Page of Pentacles. So it's not going to be without its challenges, right? The Five of Wands is this energy for me of being mindful where you really invest the best of your personal energy. Make sure that all of your energy is going into creating whatever this is for you. You know, when we invest energy in things that are not helping us with our goals, then we have less to put into where we really, really should be spending it. So this can be my card of energy leaks. It can also be a card of, you know, petty arguments and, and quarreling and niggling and nagging as well. So be mindful of that energy and really work to step away from, from anything like that that is holding you back from this direction that I see you moving in. These next two cards in your outcome, Knight of Cups and Page of Pentacles, I see as being the beginning of the receiving that I talked about up here. You know, you've come out, come out of confusion, you've manifested, you've seen the big picture, you started clearing away from what isn't in alignment of your life, you have laid a foundation and put a plan in place, begun to feel more stable and grounded, and then your energy has shifted. Therefore, you begin to attract new opportunity. The Knight of Pentacles could be someone that enters your life, Cancer, with that perfect missing piece, the ingredient that you needed to take this to the next level, to begin to, to make it a success. That's what I'm feeling. It could be somebody coming in with advice. If you have been looking for a partner, and this is about working on yourself, understanding where you've gone wrong in the past, this can be somebody entering with an offer for you. If this isn't work for you, this is about somebody offering you potentially a new income stream, uh, a new opportunity that's in its infancy, that is also going to bring you the energy of the cup, the contentment, the satisfaction, the joy, right? And I feel that you're going to start receiving really soon. The page of pentacles for me is like, you know, you, you've worked this land and now all of a sudden it's like, wow, look, it's growing. I've got my first pentacle. It's working. And then the cards are saying, if you keep working this formula, one pentacle will end up in the ten of pentacles very soon. So that's what I see here as a progression. It's a subtle progression. Yeah, it's going to take energy and, and planning, but... When we follow that, we start to get the results. The worst thing is to not start, to not start moving towards what we want and staying in that Eight of Swords energy, right? When we're just staying in that stuck holding pattern, the Six of Wands, guys. That's that's what all we really need to see here. This is a card of victory. The Six of Wands is this card of coming out of that darker time, the time of confusion, and you know, really moving into the positive energy um it's about achievement um it's also about being you know recognized for uh what you've achieved or some of you might be beginning to to gather rec recognition for a job well done here if this is in the workplace of like setting something up it's like all of a sudden it starts to work it starts to pay off people recognize that it's a beautiful energy of victory and being praised for that um it's a real energy of increasing your sense of, of self-confidence as well. It's a real, um, a real, a real winning energy. And I've got the seven of wands here as well. And the seven of wands for me, you know, is about the fact that, you know, sometimes we will need to defend our energy and defend ourselves along the way as well. Keep that in mind. It is also an, an energy for me of make sure that you keep moving in the direction of your universal flow, right? Don't get pulled back into the Eight of Swords. You know, don't get pulled back into the struggle. If things don't keep flowing, make adjustments to the plan, right? We want to stay in that Six of Wands, which is that energy of success. 
Okay, guys, well, I hope that resonated with some of you uh, as an energetic pattern, keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective. Can't, won't, and isn't meant to resonate with all of you. Cancer, it has been a pleasure to read your cards. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Leave me a comment as well. I really enjoy getting to know you over there. Uh, like and share if, if you're able to. That would really help me as well. And I will see you back here for another reading next week, Cancer. Bye for now.